what is up on this beautiful s Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> it's Sunday, um, Sunday afternoon or evening, whenever you're watching this, so this is a what's up video, um, it's gonna be kind of a little different because I had a conversation earlier and it just kind of stuck with me, uh, talking about this whole epidemic, this coronavirus stuff, oh no, my stuff's gonna be demonetized, I said the word, <laughs> um, so, we are just having this conversation. Um, now, here's my thoughts. One, uh, putting this nation into a shutdown is all a campaign strategy by our wonderful President Trump. Um, whoever doesn't agree with me, I will bet you $100 that during his campaign, he mentions how many lives he saved. We saved. Um, about a dozen fucking times. You want to bet me? Uh, last time I bet on Trump, I ended up winning $100. So, let's do this. Uh, so, it made me start to think. Um, so, every I looked it up. About 0.1% of people die every day. 150,000. And 90 to 98% of those die from natural causes. Not car crashes or anything, but being old, um, sickness... Floods, natural causes. So it made me think that the earth is a living being, a living thing, um, just like we are. So I even took it a little f further and uh, kind of correlated the two with our immune system. Now, as a human being, our immune system fights um, alien, foreign bodies. It's why, good or bad. That's why sometimes uh, heart transplants and organ transplants don't work because their body fights it. And so let's look at the earth the same way. Uh, we are foreign bodies and we produce and multiply a lot every year. Um, so I look at the flu or natural disasters as the earth's natural fight against the foreign popula against the foreign bodies invading earth um that's how i look at it i also look at it things like this because people are freaking out i understand that people with a weak immune system um should be taken care of for more uh, we've come a long way in our advances uh we human beings have lived through the flood have lived through uh the black plague um, that took out a lot of people. Uh, there's been a lot. Um, we almost wiped out the Native Americans with smallpox. We ended up living through that. We, our body has a natural fight against this stuff anyways. Um, with advancing technology and uh, medicine, we can further that. I'm congested. Congested. Not <laughs> sick. Somebody, oh, says a smart ass, commented yesterday, you coughed in your video. Yeah, I know you're watching this one. Hi. <laughs> um, congested. Happens every year. I get si I have sinuses. When the weather changes, they like the drain. Um, so, that being said, um, my other thing is, and a lot of people don't like this, unless you're the... Uh, Mexican culture, and you love this, but uh, that is going to find you no matter what. Doesn't matter if you're isolated in a chapel in a bubble. <laughs> um, use all the sand, hand sanitizer, and toilet paper you want. Uh, death is a natural thing. It doesn't discriminate, or it's not race, racist, or sexist, or it's not a bigot. It's just a thing. So, that being said, um, I've come to realization. Somebody asked me if I wanted to travel, and I said, yes, it's quiet out there. It's almost a ghost town. It is perfect for me to travel. Less human interaction. Um, so, I started thinking about it. Um, and this might not rub people the right way, because most people don't think like I do. Um, I am okay with death. Um, I've 
made peace with it. If I happen to die tomorrow, if I'm laying on my deathbed, I'm not begging to live. I am thanking God for the time I've had. I'm also praying that he watches over um, the people I'm leaving behind because that's what death affects the most. Not the dead, they affect the living. Because with me, um, I got to experience my first love in high school. I've got to live through that and become stronger. I've gone through dark times, lived through that, gotten stronger. I've got to fall in love, get married, have children. Um, I've got to taste a little bit of this from uh, the different jobs I've had. I've got to go overseas. I've got to travel. I've done a lot. I've done more than most. And I'm very happy with that. I mean, if I can get another 20, 50 years, that's fantastic. But I'm going to live the fullest. That being said, I know that my son, Logan, would it would hit pretty hard. And my mom and everybody else who, um, thank God, loves me. I <laughs> love you guys, too. Um, but as me personally... I'm okay. I am at peace. Not saying I want to. That's not the point <laughs> I'm trying to make. Um, but I understand. You know, my eventually my parents will pass away. That'll be devastating. Um, I get it. I really do. But from my perspective, the way I've lived, um, I am very grateful. For everything I've gotten to do. And everything I've had. And everything to come. So. This has been another edition of What's Up. <laughs> that being said. Much love. JD.